Good morning. This is our daily lectionary readings for Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. We're looking back to what happened at church on Sunday. Our psalm reading will remain Psalm 18, 1 through 3 and 20 through 32. Our Old Testament reading today is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verses 18 through 20, and then verses 28 through 39. And then our New Testament reading comes from the book of Romans, chapter 11, 33 through 36. And today we will be reading it out of the New American Standard Bible. Psalm 18. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and fortress and my Savior. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands. He has repaid me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not acted wickedly against my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statues from me. I was also blameless with him, and I kept myself from my wrongdoing. Therefore the Lord has repaid me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyes. With the faithful you shall show yourself faithful. With the blameless, you prove yourself blameless. With your pure, you show yourself pure. And with the crooked, you show yourself astute. For you save an afflicted people, but you humiliate haughty eyes. For you light my lamp. The Lord, my God, illumines my darkness. For by you... I can trust at the troop of warriors, and by my God, I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is blameless. The word of the Lord is refined. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. For who is God but the Lord, and who is a rock except our God? The God who encircles me with strength and makes my way blameless. Our Old Testament reading, Deuteronomy 32, verses 18 through 20 to begin. You forgot the rock who fathered you and forgot the God who gave you birth. The Lord saw this and spurned them because of the provocation by his sons and daughters. Then he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end will be. For they are a perverse generation, sons in whom there is no faithfulness. We pick up in verse 28. For they are a nation destitute of counsel, and there is no understanding in them. If only they were wise and they understood this. If only they could discern their future. How could one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, unless the rock has sold them, and the Lord had given them up? Indeed, the rock is not like our rock, even our enemies themselves judge this. For their vine is from the vine of Sodom, and from the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of poison, their clusters bitter. Their wine is the venom of serpents and the deadly poison of vipers. Is it not stored up with me, sealed up in my treasuries? Vengeance is mine and retribution. In due time their foot will slip, for the day of their disaster is near, and the impending voices are hurrying to them. For the Lord will vindicate his people, and will have compassion on his servants, for he sees that their strength is gone, and there is no one remaining 
bond, or free. And he will say, Where are their gods? The rock in which they took refuge. Those who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wines of their drink offering. Let them rise up and help you. Let them be your protection. See now that I, I am he, and there is no God beside me. It is I who put to death and give life. I have wounded, and it is I who heal. And there is no one who can save anyone from my hand. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Romans, chapter 11, verses 33 through 36. Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who became his counselor? Or who has first given to him that it would be paid back to him? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. And here ends our readings for the day.